the Dracul, the Order of the Dragon. We have a right to be proud. Within our veins flows the blood of many brave races. To Mr. Bram Stoker, London. From Mr. Jonathan Harker, Exeter, that I have received your letter, and at your request I have journeyed up to my attic room, where I stored away my diary and papers seven years ago. What I saw was the Count coming out of his room and crawling down the castle wall, over that dreadful abyss, face down, with his cloak spreading round him like great wings. Oh, what manner of man is this? Oh, what manner of creature is this in the semblance of a man? I am in fear. I confess it awful fear, and I have no escape from it. Take a stake of wood, or iron, and place it over the heart. And then strike! Ah! Strike in God's name! Ah! Then the under. No more. Leave the point in the body. Fill the mouth with garlic, and then chop off the head. With a saw or an axe! Ah! He is only stronger. And now this vampire count is so strong as 20 men. I am still enclosed. Inside the box. It must be going up the Seraph River. It goes near the Borgo Pass. We've decided to split up and follow the count to the Borgo Pass. Arthur and I will travel by steamship launch. Quincy feels he may travel faster by horse. In the meantime, Van Helsing will take the train to Bistritz, journey to the castle, and cleanse the Count's tomb there. Is it any wonder we are a conquering race? That we are so proud!